welcome back to Husband Gaming, and we're going to get up against the, the captain, Captain Ginyu. Captain of what? I don't know. Hey, Captain, can you maintain the caps? We really need that headwear. Hey, uh, uh, Captain, can you sustain the captions? Be sure that it's in proper English. Actually, it's funny, like, I don't know if you guys knew this, but in the YouTube, there is actually a way that you can hear and not, like, listen to words and still understand what's going on. So, feel free to drown me out and hope that the subtitles get it right. But, it's, uh, that are sometimes very inaccurate, mainly during, like, some of the grump sessions. And some of the stuff they do is pretty funny, like, when it comes to the captions. Like, if you ever have the time, just feel free to do it. Um, like, because they do, like, voice acting, and sometimes, like, you know, when you're listening to them, you're like, okay, I got it. But sometimes technology is, like, pulls the classic theory where, uh, they, like, say you're texting, like, a message, and you say something about symbols, and they're like, oh, it's just the non-music ones. It's like, I meant the music ones. That happened to my brother at one point. It was funny. <laughs> but, yeah, there has to be, like... I feel like technology is not really going to easily be able to do the whole texting words for you, just because, you know, there's, like, a bow and... No, wait, that's actually one that'll be easier to distinguish. But, like, the words that sound the same but mean different things. Like, you know, symbols. Like, oh, it's like something that represents or portrays something. Like, the dove of peach and that dove of peace. Uh, the, the M of Mario. Like, logos could fall into that category, too. Dragon Balls with the Goku. So, and then there's, like, the music symbols, which is the thing that drummers beat to make rhythmic sounds. So that's pretty much one of the stuff that is not gonna get right. Okay. Well, while I was talking about get right, I just got wrecked. Ooh, man. Misspelled with a KT. That's probably something that theory probably won't ever be doing. Just like slang kind of thing. I don't know. Like, there's a regular word in the dictionary where, like, wrecked is like, oh, it's like something got destroyed, and then it's like the, the slang retro, uh, not retro, the hip term, I should say. Like, the more and more thing, like, you use regular more for like, oh, you mean you want some more pizza? And then, like, the difference of the M-O-A-R is the uh, large guy that's like, more pizza! And then just like, shakes the ground with each footstep. Ah, good times. Good times. I'm one of those guys. I use the M-O-A-R. It's a, it's a fun meme. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot I was fighting a uh, I don't, wait, I don't, I want him to, no, that, that's not what you wanted to do, can you? Come on. You could have, like, you, you could have wanted this body, man. Just look at it. I have, like, a white belt, and it's, it's nice. It doesn't have any stains on it. It's, um, it's really nicely polished, which is weird, because I keep going through buildings, and my little blocking action is not going to keep it clean. Unless I use Tide, that is, or OxyClean, whatever Billy Mays advertised for, which I think I actually did say what he advertised for when I mentioned him a little while back, but I guess it was just like one of those blatant statements like, oh yeah, the Terminator 2, references, love him. Okay, so, just taking on the Ginyu, where our, nope, no. Nah. Okay. Yep. Alright, he's doing his dance and... Alright, we get it. You dance and prance and... Schmance and... 
I'm, I came up with words that like, I was thinking like schmancy, but alright, let's do this again, because it's gonna be, there has to be someone out there that can play Hercule really well in this, or am I the only person that's going for it while people are like, Gogeta 4 is the most powerful, Whew. but the game has to do something that makes it beneficial that like, Hercule is trying it out. Like, um, in World of Warcraft, not to bring that up too many times, the they have the worst character, per se, for the battle pets, which, I love battle pets. Uh, they call it the, uh, uh, uh plushy elephant, or elec, or, there's like a fancy term for, like, the World of Warcraft elephant. I just don't remember it. Kind of like, oh, up. Oh, no, no, no. It's like if um, kind of like how like there's turtles, but oh no, the Mario turtle is the 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 Koopa or squids and bloopers, kind of like that kind of level of thing, except a little more closer to the terms, but. I'll put it up here. I mean, it's probably better than seeing my dying face. Yep. I, I just died there. But it's pretty much... It can't attack. It uses, like, the cutesy, adorable stuff like, Oh, it's like, fierce roar. And, like, the description is... It really doesn't... It's not a very... Good roar. It's just... Light roar, but it's just sinking it. And like lots of thought based moves, like I believe I can do this kind of thing. So to compensate for a, such a low ranked uh, uh, battle pet, they actually like do a lot of achievements involving it. And where are you? Up. Oh, uh, I probably should have known from the tree that was uh, hiding right behind me. Oh, but the, the, the. all right. Okay, how come I can't, like, do any, like, plasma, oh, I, I should start calling it Kai, because I feel like I go in between them. Uh, MadPat determined that the Kai is the, and why am I so floaty, I, I'm not, like, trying to go around so much, ah, uh, I have to get at least one hit on him, because so far it doesn't look like I'm doing so. Anyway, there's a lot of achievement for the plushy elephant character, so... It's like, get him to level 25, which my battle pet strategy from the last episode is pretty good with that. So, yeah, you pretty much get it from, like, tailoring. Come on, please do this thing where you take my body. I know you don't take my HP for me, but... Or, does he? I don't remember, actually. Oh, you thought you can outrun this? I'm Hercule, gosh darn it. You ain't the captain of nothing, except your own team of four super strong, like, uh, uh, I thought it was close enough to, like, snap it out of his hand with an interception, but I died. Jeez. Okay, dance all you want to get you, but I'll come back. I got one more shot in me. And if not, well then, this is going to be a little awkward. But fear not, because there's, there's no need to fear, because Bigfoot is with you. How many of you guys seen the backyard again? Or not the backyard. What am I thinking? Uh, back of the barnyard. You can could, you could see how the differences are in the names, but there was, like, the movie that did pretty well, and then they had the TV show on it, because why not? And in the the TV show? Oh, where are you? Ah, ah there, there you are. I, I had you, then I lost you, then... Okay, but in the TV show, there was a thing where Bigfoot came out. And he was, like, in one of, like, I would say every one out of every ten episodes. And there were, like, maybe 34. So he's appeared, like, three or four times. And in an episode, he was, like, you know, this huge threat because, you know, Bigfoot. 
And then, like, at the end of the episode, he's, uh, just, like, on a piano and he's singing, like, Big for no fear. I won't. And then it's just, like, it's fantastic. Like, you guys should do the YouTube search up image thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, that wasn't my singing voice. I should have gone with, like, the Blink-182. Big foot, big foot, no fear. He won't strangle you or stomp on your head. Nice. Up oh, the blink of the eye, and I died. Okay. Well, fantastic. I'm about to drain all of my little battle things. I'm going to be down to like the late teens ish on points, but only one way to find out. Okay, minus two, minus one, minus... Yeah, I lost three in total, so I have 16. Ah. Alright, next episode, everyone, and catch you guys then.